Unfortunately for Mickey, that's what? exactly what it became. Whoa. Chemistry kerfuffles, spinning nightmares, and whatever craziness happened here. Today, I am joined by my wife, Jen, who used to be an actress on the show, A Thousand Ways to Die. Today, we're breaking down all the medical scenes and outrageous ways people supposedly kicked the bucket. Are you ready to watch this insanity? Yeah, let's dive right in. He's a sign spinner. Look at him go! It's a thankless job that pays only minimum wage, but for Mickey, it wasn't about money. It was all about the spin. Oh. <laughs> you see these people on the streets, they're out making a box, and usually they look like they're having fun. I just always wonder, okay, you're spinning it around, and it's like open house this way, but it's spinning. <laughs> so which way is the open house? Is it which there? Is it there? Is it there? <laughs> Mickey had been spinning at the same corner for a month, showing off oh, for a yes. cute barista named Alice. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> he was hoping his spinning skills would whip her libido into a steaming, <laughs> frothy love latte. Right off the curb. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, no. <gasps> okay. You gotta be aware, you're playing right by the street. Even just being that close, a car can like jump the curb and potentially hit you. You don't wanna distract the drivers too much. Like you definitely wanna get their attention, but don't be causing them to swerve around. Unfortunately for Mickey, that's <gasps> what? exactly what it became. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. At first, me and you were both like, wait, there's a competitor across the yeah, street. Yeah, I was looking at the guy across the street. <laughs> so he hit the zone two of his neck. We have zones one, two, and three of the neck. And zone two is where all the major structures are. It's super dangerous. Oh my God. What the? Push pressure on it. <gasps> oh. oh all she needs to do is put pressure on the area. Don't put pressure on both sides because then you decrease blood flow. Not smart. You don't want to like tourniquet everything, right? So Alice just needs to put her hand on it. Just put her hand on it. The tip of Mickey's sign had hit the pavement one too many times. Sharpened it. Leaving a jagged uh. corner of exposed coroplast. I mean, it is definitely something that actually is plausible, survivable if appropriate treatment is done. How long till he would have kicked the bucket? You have to lose almost half of your blood volume. Yeah, but if it's squirting out, like... It's squirting out. It's not just like... Either way, <laughs> no good. There's plenty of ways to get through college. Marshall was doing it by working hard. Hello? Katie was doing it by working Marshall. <laughs> Don't flash your headlights when your lab partner is mixing ammonia with hydrochloric oh, acid. Oh, right. Yeah, that's deadly. Oh. The toxic cloud of gas fused her contact lenses <gasps> right to her eyes. Oh. I used to wear contacts for a very long time. I always had red eyes like this. Like, yeah. I would walk around, people like, mm, would you smoke earlier? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just tired. We see people who get contact lens injuries all the time. Every time you blink your eye, you scrape away the good cells. So a lot of times the eye doctor will actually put a pack over your eye. So you're a pirate. Garth. It's our blurry salvation. The eye wash station. So she's gonna go to the eye wash station. The station is cold water. So if it's already like heated up, melted onto the cornea itself, it's just gonna, gonna cool it down. Right. Come on! Come on! What? what? They're trying to say the person slid and caused a hyperextension. But it looked like it was in the front. Then it would have just either fractured bones or messed up the nerves or the vessels of the neck. Juan and Maria, two lovebirds on their honeymoon? Not exactly. Oh, good seat. You could say they're in the import business. Their specialty? Exotic birds. Come on! Come on! That's not a thing. That is a thing. But, but aren't how they chirping? You, yeah, I was gonna say, how would you not hear it though? If you're another passenger or a flight attendant, I don't know how you wouldn't hear the birds. After a three hour nap, Juan wakes up a very sick man. The medical word for that is actually diaphoresis, AKA sweating a lot. He woke up drenched. Drenched. So is he sweating or is he breaking his sweat? Is he having a fever? Don't be getting that, Rona. Birds carry all different types of potential Bird pathogens. Flu. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks like he's about to puke. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Oh my oh. god. Oh. So if somebody's vomiting on their back, please roll them to their side so they don't aspirate their own vomit, aka choke on their own vomit. I can't think of anything worse than being puked on by like a fellow passenger on, on a an plane. airplane. That's gotta be the worst. Oh, oh my gosh. He caught bird flu. <laughs> he got the bird flu. In the end, AKA a flu. Caught up with one, and his life flew the coop. I don't know how long this flight was. It seemed real quick. Ooh, that's fast. Yeah, this is definitely not in an appropriate timeline of his illness. Maybe he was suffering, didn't tell anybody. It's very common, had a little runny nose, cough, and then it progressively got worse, and then he started getting complications. The thing about rednecks, they'll throw a party anywhere. All it takes is a grill, some beer, and some booty. Some beer and some booty. Why not? Why not? Pirate's booty. Yep, there's Long a lot treasure. of different booties. Hey, I even like the booty that's the cheese curls. Just like my oh, jeez. <gasps> whoa, 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 Do not get up in the middle of We're this. this another way. So let's have a good old fashioned truck pull. A truck Wait. pull? A what? A good old fashioned truck pull. Have you guys ever done a truck pull? I've never even heard of a truck I have pull. never. And I lived in very central Oregon in the sticks. Winner takes me home! The brother who can pull the hardest. Your truck ain't nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Your truck ain't nothing. I mean, all I can remember is like Footloose, the movie Footloose with Kevin Bacon. Is it still the greatest movie in history? It never was. I think I went to high school with these people. I feel like <laughs> a piece of metal is gonna go flying out. Oh God. All right, it's like a tug of war. Oh God, oh, I don't like how what's happening with this rope. Lady, get out of the way. Oh gosh. Oh. <gasps> oh. But in the end, the boys got their rocks off. Wait, Getting, what happened to our skull? Ah, so skull fracture on the side of the head. There's the middle meningeal artery sits on the side. That artery can rupture and cause brain bleeding and cause an epidural hematoma, which then can push on your brain and cause herniation and you can die. I didn't that expect rocks. that. That went differently than I thought. Out. Getting pelted with all those rocks, that is awful. So would she have kicked the bucket? I don't know. I mean, if you fracture the skull, messed with the blood vessels in the brain, causing brain bleeding. Were they big enough rocks to really just- They could. Homegirl should have not been in the middle of this. These episodes, they never cease to amaze Amazing. me. Amazing. And then people are like, oh, they're made up stories. I don't know about that. Maybe embellished a little, but- Wrong place, wrong yeah, time. Yeah, weird but... things do happen. I have a lot of weird stories as well. Like things just happen. All right. Have you guys ever seen this show? Are there any other scenes we missed? Let us know in the comments. Yes. And if you guys enjoyed this, definitely binge watch this whole playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends. Bye.